Here we are back at the APA OWL website, the online writing lab at Purdue University. And just like we did with the reference list, doing the in-text citations is just about following the guide. So when we looked at the reference list, we came here on the left-hand side and we found reference list articles and periodicals, and that gave us the example to follow for how to make the reference list entries for each of the articles that we read in the course of doing our research. In order to do the in-text citations, if you just go a little bit further up on the list, here's two options. So the first one, in-text citations, the basics, is going to be the first one we're going to check out. I'm going to click there, and what this is going to do is it's going to give me examples to follow for three different scenarios. Okay, well, first of all, it's going to give me a bunch of general information about how to talk about um, other people's research papers in your own paper like um, how to capitalize, for example. You saw that when we did the reference list and we were um, doing journal titles, you only, sorry, journal articles, you only capitalized the first letter of the, sentence, of the, of the title. Um, but this thing will tell you, this, this page will tell you how to do that in general in the actual body of your paper. But then the three specific scenarios that it's gonna help you with are when you're doing short quotations directly from those papers, longer quotations directly from those papers, and if you're summarizing or paraphrasing uh, from the papers that you read. So in any of these three cases, you need to make sure that you're doing an in-text citation. So if you have a short uh, quotation, I would generally say that a short quotation is about, you know, a, a sentence long or a part of a sentence or like a line or two then all you need to do is just the way like we did with the reference list is you come to this guide and you copy what they do. So they give a few examples here. So they say, according to Jones, 1998, comma, and then they start the quotation. You'll notice that when the quotation ends, they don't put the period inside the quotation marks. They put the brackets instead and then they do P dot, which means page, space, and then the page number. They close the brackets, and then they have a period at the very end. So that's really important to know. Sometimes in certain citation styles you would put the period here, but in fact it's at the end. Um, so what you are doing here, and this is why we did the reference list first, is that whatever name you put here, so it's Jones, that's the author you're talking about, that has to match with what it says in your reference list. So if your, if your instructor or any reader that's reading your paper is, is reading the body of your essay and they see that you talk about Jones, then what they're going to do is, the, and they want to read more from Jones, they're going to go to your reference list and they need to be able to find it there. So Jones has to match here with the Jones in your reference list. There's a few other examples here for how you could do it. You know, you could just say Jones 1998 and you could follow any of these examples that you like. If you're doing a long quotation, again, so this one's 40 words or longer, um, this is the guide that you follow for how to do it. So they talk about how you do it in a freestanding block of typewritten lines. So all you need to do is follow this example and you'll figure out how to do that. And then again, if you're doing a paraphrase, you still have to do an in-text citation. And it looks very similar. According to Jones, brackets, 1998, blah, 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 blah. Um, or another option is to just state your point and then put Jones, et cetera, in the brackets. So I'm not gonna actually go through like the fine detail of how to do this. My point here is that if you use the guide and you just follow the examples exactly with that same premise of making sure that you do the spaces where they do them, the brackets where they do them, the capitalization where they do it, the commas where they put them, and the periods where they put them, then you're going to do great. You just want to follow the guide. And if you do have any specific questions, you can check with your instructor or you can come to the library because at the Research Help Desk, we're also really happy to help you figure out exactly how to do it in fine detail. So that is the in-text citations, the basics section, which deals with those three scenarios, short quotations, long quotations, and paraphrasing or summary. 
Then this link here that says in-text citations, author, authors, will give you even more examples because you know like a lot of the papers that you've been reading don't just have one author, they'll have like three. So these examples show you how to do it when you have more authors. Um, and again, all you have to do is come, find the specific example of your situation, and follow, follow the guide. So that's how you're going to do your in-text citations.